Hello, so I thought that today I would show you that popular Instagram makeup look like glass look looking skin so I'm starting with strobe cream because I think that that's base of everything and of course skincare so I'm applying quite a big amount on cheekbones because that's the point that we usually put the biggest amount of of highlighter on my brow bone bridge on my nose cupid's bone and I like to put even here because this is the deepest part of of your face and it really helps to wake up your face and buff everything out with foundation brush And now foundation, I'm going to use Healthy Mix. This is not like full coverage foundation, this is medium. And we need that medium coverage foundation for this. You can use like MAC face and body, but today I'll use this one with slightly more coverage. So my skin looks very good. Now concealer, and the concealer that I'm using today is this Maybelline The Razor Eye and TH, this most famous Instagram one. And I will just put a little bit on my eyelids because I have some veins popping. And I'll... I don't like to like make triangle under my eyes because I think you use so much product and you don't need that much product now I have to put a little bit with a brush and then blend with brush and fingers in between and I put a little bit more on my chin because that's very nice place for highlight In this makeup look, the base of makeup is everything. If you don't care that much about eyes, about lips, you care about your base. So this requires so much blending and looking if everything is okay and things like that. My base is done. Now let's move on, on brows. I'm not gonna fill them in, I'm just gonna put brow brow gel. Just push hairs of your brows up. Now let's move on a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm gonna pop just white, like shimmer shade on my eyelid. To make everything even more glossy and shiny now the funniest part of this tutorial tutorial is the highlighter so we're gonna layer highlighter and first I'm gonna use this cream one this is by Clinique chubby stick you have seen this hundred times in all my makeup videos and I'm gonna use this foundation brush for application and here on the cheekbones In between every application of highlighter just melt everything with foundation brush now this illuminator rosy one Now this one highlighter that is very very shining from Wet n Wild. So I'm placing this just on top of my cheekbone, cheekbones, not all over my face. Here, under. This is a very small amount because we don't want that too shiny 
bulb. But I don't have studio lights and everything. And I think that this doesn't look too much on camera, but in person it looks very glowy. And now for the end of this highlighter routine, I'm using this gold one by NARS from Wanted One palette. And I'm quite generous with this one. And I'm using between my brows because I think that's very nice point for just a small amount of highlight. Otherwise it's gonna look very like oily and we don't want that. And I'm using pencil brush for under my brows for more precision precision. And I really think that this kind of makeup doesn't look good in the person because it's too shiny and it's too highlightery and just that's my opinion. But this is for like studio lights and everything because look at this and my upper lip <laughs> it's very glossy shiny stroby however you want now liquid blush actually because that's very important step when you're doing this glowy skin because powder blush can look too matte sometimes and liquid is better option I'm gonna use actually lipstick and this is from Sephora collection lipstick very very red one very intense red color and you have to buff out this really really good first like this and then on your hand buff out because it's very pigmented stuff you don't want like that redness on your face and for this I'm using MAC 188 S just be very careful look at this and now foundation brush And we are like creating that C shape. It's slightly giving some like shape to our face. Definition. And you have to be very fast with this kind of application because it dries out in a second and can be from beautiful look can be mess in a second. Lashes, Monsignor Big by Lancome. And in my opinion, skincare before makeup is the key of this look. So you have to clean your face, good cleanser, good moisturizer, and good under eye cream. Because that's mm. That gives that glow from within. Skincare is actually is your base. For every makeup look, not not just not just this one. Under my eye. <laughs> On my lower lash line. Oh my god. My lower lashes. And now you can play with lipstick, you can use red, nude gloss whatever you want and I'm gonna use clear lip gloss by MAC and this is the finished result very glossy very highlightery this is the skin very very glossy the glossiest the glowiest that I have ever had in my life oh look and the lips are very nice eyes we keep we kept the eyes very simple because we wanted to focus on on this glow and yes this is the finished result and by the way i have pores too and this is my skin it's very close up so don't be a 
upset about that we all have pores that's natural so thank you so much for watching and let me know in comments what what are your thoughts about this makeup look that is all over instagram and yes see you in the next one bye